perfect weather conditions greeted the 30 elite women who qualified from yesterday's two semi-final heats. The swim stage would play a key role in the outcome as the tight confines of the 750 meters waged over three laps in the city center would expose the weaker swimmers. Lucy Hall along with teammate Natalie Milne set the pace while two groups started to form behind them. As they entered the first transition, the Brits had amassed a 17 second gap over the group of eight behind them. Among the chasers was Natalie Van Kuverden, Kate Hersey, Aileen Reed and Sarah Village, who were desperate to get onto their bikes to catch the leaders. Many of the strongest runners like Charlotte McShane, Katie Hewison, Anna Maria Mazzetti and Lisa Pertera were in a desperate situation. Over one minute behind after the first lap of the bike and losing time on each lap. Hall and Milne continued to ride aggressively and added to their advantage over the 20 kilometer bike stage. As they entered the second transition, the duo had gained a further 10 seconds over the group of eight behind them, but would it be enough? The chase group entered T2 with work to do as the leaders were 45 seconds up the road and there was no time to waste getting the bikes racked and into their running shoes. Hall established the early lead, but by the end of the first lap, American Kate Hersey was just 10 seconds behind, with Aileen Reed of Ireland and Sarah Village of Croatia rapidly closing in. After lap two, Hersey took command of the race. Meanwhile, Lucy Hall struggled to keep the pace and eventually lost her podium position as both Reed and Village passed her on the third lap. Hersey of the USA continued to pull away from the field to take her second consecutive victory in just her third appearance on the ITU World Cup circuit. USA. Reed of Ireland Obama earned her first World Cup medal of the season in second, while ITU development athlete Vilic of Croatia rounded out the podium with the bronze. Once I got with the right bike pack, I was really happy. I felt confident. I wasn't sure how I'd feel after yesterday's race, but it was nice because we had enough of a gap yesterday to take it pretty easy, and I just picked one person off at a time and wanted to hold it and stay controlled, and it worked out. Well, I'm delighted. I, I don't think I had that on me today. The way the girls ran yesterday in the heats, you know, they were they were straight out on the run and um, they were killing it. And you know, my plan was just to just to run easy in the heats as long as I qualified. And I'm I'm really glad it paid off today because it was about backing the races up, and it paid off for me. It's wonderful. I can't describe my feelings. It's my first time on the podium at the World Cup. It's just great. Nice, nice feeling. Really good race and I'm just happy.